This is part two on the Cloud Pack video series. As I explained in the video number one on the whiteboard, it has three sections, at least for now. Case management, and this is kind of resilient inside, where you can actually work with a case and actually execute or complete all the tasks that are required to successfully close this incident, similar to the things that we've done in Resilient. This is, as I mentioned before, this is a subset of Resilient, very complete, but not the entire Resilient, at least not yet. Then there is the threat intelligence piece in which we're going to be querying pretty soon about different campaigns, different IOCs, different components, and we will see the results in here, right? Now, as you see in, in this particular case, everything that you ask in here, again, is sent from stick, is sent into the X-Force in this particular case, and it's only the X-Force, but it's expected to have other threat intelligence feeds in here. And the results are shot by here. And finally, Data Explorer, the kind of uh, search that goes across multiple systems and perform queries about specific IOCs. We're going to get back to this in a second. So the piece I want to show is that here in settings is where you define your data sources. What are the systems that you are going to be sending those queries to be executed in the native language of any one of those systems? So let's actually start by going into the threat intelligence and we are going to be searching for a campaign called APT41. We hit enter and that query goes into the X-Force and you don't get the you know the, the results in here may take one or two seconds to come back because again this is performing different systems and this is the campaign that we're going to be starting the investigation and when we see the result coming back, there are 119 IOCs, but there are two that has already been found. Now, in the current version of Cloud Pack for Security, that search will not show automatically here that, you know, out of the 119, two were found. But in the subsequent version, it is expected that whatever is it that are part of this international information about this APT campaign automatically will be query for you and you'll see these results. I have it in here because I ran this before I was preparing for this particular video. So, the thing that it is implemented already in the first version of Cloud Pack for Security is that a case is automatically open for me whenever an IOC is actually found. So I don't have to go ahead and, and again, instead of going in the standard aspects of uh, Resilient, and there are more videos that I have created on this, and to keep this video short, I just want to look at the IOCs. So, okay, what about this particular, let's start with the one on the top, this particular IOC. How do I find out in which of my system that is and another? Well, all I need to do is click here run a query in the E. And that brings us into Data Explorer, which is particularly nice because even though this is a stick and you don't need to know stick, whenever you see something like a hash, it puts it in there. If you put a URL, it, it automatically helps you build that. And you can add more, you know, uh, conditions, let's say if this one or any other, and you can see the type of things that you can actually add, processes, file, other hashes, IP, MAC address, etc. And, and I expect this list to get bigger 
uh, with time or you can specify the the time frame in which you want to perform the actual search let's say that we're going to be searching that for 72 hours and which sources from all the ones that I show you that I'm connected well let's say I only want AWS Curator and Splunk and I actually run that query and it comes back saying there are five results and we can see them in here from Curator this is also from Curator, that's an executable, C64. It's the same thing, similar thing here with a, with a hash, SHA1. As we see, all these findings, of those five of them, were found in Curator system. It's pretty good. So what about the IP? Mm -hmm. You can actually work here on the filters and see what IP values are in here as we see is only one and we actually seen it that is the same IP in there so actually click on it and pivot and do a search on that IP in particular because again this this IP was not in the IOCs that we found from the threat intelligence because this is what happened in, in one of my systems so it's a private IP you see it's a 192.168 address I want to see, you know, in the same systems that we were looking for before, what is it that you can find about that? And again, the, the stick to, I don't need to know the, the, the syntax of it. These things help you build it. And here comes the results. See, there's one Explunk, there's one in AWS, and one in uh, Curator. Out of all those results, 16 of them, let's say that I'm interested only in the AWS because there is where my customer data resides, right? And I can even close that filter to get all the real estate in here. Let's actually expand the content of the payload here. One way of expanding all these is expanding this twisty here that gives me all additional uh, Details is the external IP, that's the user, Daniel Jones. That's the file, is in AWS. And we can see the results, full database dump. Okay, so that is something significant. I want to actually add this detail to the current case that was automatically opened for me. To do that, all I need to do is click on this icon and say, It's filtration data occur and uh, you can put a description you know whatever is pertinent in here and to what case I'm adding this to the APT one that is actually automatically open for me and I can continue Working in this, I can if I go back to the home page, I can go back to the case management and keep on working on the management of that particular incident. If I click in artifacts, I should find the artifacts that I just added and it is this one in particular. So as you see, without moving any data around, I've been looking for campaigns that gave us some IOCs. It found which IOCs are in my system. From one of those IOCs, I pivoted into another component, was the IP, made another search. I mean, all these nicely done, all the data I've been put in the case that I'm managing, keeping what is IBM called data in place without moving any data. This is the first scenario. I'm going to be adding more videos into more sophisticated uh, ones, but I just wanted to show you this one. I think is a good way of seeing the benefit, and this is just version one of Cloud Pack for security. So, looks like a very uh, interesting way of not having to go into building data lakes, but 
go to where the data is and query without me knowing anything about a particular API format of this or API. That's what the connectors are for.